Hey S'mores, I'm Shannon Morris. Welcome to Morse Code. Today I am going to teach you a little bit about how to spot some annoyingly prevalent holiday shopping scams that cyber criminals try to use to steal your data and steal your money. Since so many folks are shopping online this season, it is the ripe time for hacks to happen and there are a lot of scams that you should probably know about. One of these I have already seen my very own family member sharing on Facebook and I keep on telling them that it's a scam but they keep on sharing it. You have probably heard of this secret sister gift exchange. The gist is somebody sends you a chain letter saying that you will spend a little to get a lot. You're supposed to send a $10 gift to one person and add your name to a list and then you forward that chain to like 30 more people and those 30 people are supposed to send you a gift. They end up doing the same each adding their name to the list and sending it to the next 30 people. So you should end up with 30 $10 gifts, right? Wrong. Yeah, this is actually a pyramid scheme. It's totally illegal, but also anyone who would buy under you would not necessarily get their return on investment and neither could you. Not to mention you could potentially be giving your name and address to a scammer. So if you see these, warn your friends, but also actively choose not to participate. Before I get to the second scam that you should watch out for, let's get our learn on with this episode's sponsor. Cyber, without an E, that's C-Y-B-R dot com, is a new player in the cybersecurity training scene whose first few courses have already resulted in a community of about 20,000 cyber students that have taken their first few courses. They launched in June of this year, focused on providing cybersecurity career enablement and inclusive community and support and high quality hands-on learning resources designed to help aspiring cybersecurity professionals get the skills, experience, and support they need to succeed in entry-level cybersec roles. Now, a few days ago, I announced the availability of Cyber's new comprehensive hands-on cross-site scripting course and ebook. I also shared our exclusive link and promo code, which is Morse code, with you so you can take advantage of this great low-cost but high-value learning opportunity at the exclusive low price of $9.99. Now, I want to take it a step further in honor of Black Friday and Cyber Monday weekend. So I am partnering with Cyber again to give a few more things away. So here's your challenge, should you choose to accept it. The first 10 S'mores community members to complete Cyber's cross-site scripting course and share your course completion certificate or a screenshot on LinkedIn will receive a limited edition cross-site scripting course themed t-shirt, I love this shirt, in honor of your victory. You will need to tag me on LinkedIn as well as Christoph, who is the teacher, and Cyber to get your shirt. But when you do, you will also earn bragging rights, a kudos from us on LinkedIn, your limited edition premium t-shirt, and then, and then you will be entered to win Let's get a drum roll. A Wi-Fi pineapple. Yes, that's right. Once 10 people finish the course completion and t-shirt challenge, we will randomly select one of you as the winner of a free Wi-Fi pineapple. I hope some of you are feeling up for a challenge because this should be very fun. And remember the Cyber Course promo bundle price is still $9.99, it's still available, but it ends soon. So if you haven't already done so, take a few minutes to share the course link or the promo code with your friends, your coworkers. Let them know that they can get both the course and the ebook for $9.99 $9.99 until 11.59 p.m. on Cyber Monday. They won't believe the value that they receive for less than the cost to buy lunch or a very, very expensive coffee at Starbucks. Trust me, I know. They will not be disappointed. So a huge thank you to Cyber for sponsoring this episode because this is an awesome, awesome deal for anybody who wants to educate themselves in cybersecurity. Now, number two, the second scam is a classic. This one is email phishing, of which McAfee found that 41% of Americans fell victim to phishing just a year ago. Now you can avoid phishing emails pretty easily, but it really takes a constantly skeptical eye before clicking on anything. Avoid opening email attachments, look for spelling or grammatical errors in the email, check the email address of the sender and hover over links in the email to see where they actually link out to, and just don't click on links. If an email looks legit, but asks you to put in some kind of private information on some kind of linked site that you have to click on, rather go to the site in question by typing the domain into the address bar at the top of your browser instead, because then you're going directly to the site and you're skipping any potential of a hyperlink and malware or some kind of like cloned web Website. Now, according to the BBB, a lot of holiday markets and craft fairs are now going online. Usually these don't charge admission, but they would like charge the vendors. So if they do, 
it's generally cash at the door unless you have to buy a ticket first. So if you do hear about some event happening in support of local businesses and you search for it online, you may end up finding copycat events made to mimic the real event. Now, if you go to the copycat's website and you find that it is requesting you buy some kind of ticket, as soon as you put in your credit card details, your name and your address, that could all be stolen by a criminal. Now, the BBB says that criminals are creating these fake event pages, social media posts, and emails to confuse people looking online for real events. So to avoid being tricked, look on your city or your county's website for calendar events and check the newspaper or your local resources for the actual addresses. And make sure to check vendor details for these events as well and make sure that you recognize some of these vendors or these vendors actually are legit. Use a credit card and keep receipts in the event that you need to submit a chargeback. The last online one that I also wanted to mention was on a recent Threatwire episode that I did on the Hack5 channel, but it is worth repeating. DNS cache poisoning attacks are being used again thanks to a new vulnerability that was recently found. You can find out if your own network is vulnerable to this type of attack by visiting the SAD DNS site. That's the name of the new attack. I linked it below, but high level overview, this could let an attacker redirect your internet browsing to a site of their choice. So they could create a fake website and fish your credentials. And since you will be online shopping, I mean, who isn't this holiday season? It's important to remember to check the actual sites you're visiting before putting in payment details. Do I sound like a parrot on repeat? Cause I feel like I sound like a parrot on repeat. Now in real life, there are some very real threats. For example, have you ever been in an Uber and the driver offered up a cable so that you could charge your phone? That's a super nice thing to do, right? Well, it's always better to bring your own cable and battery pack whenever you're out and about. Not that we can do this right now, but this would help you avoid any kind of potential of somebody using a cloned cable that could read data from your phone. And yes, that is a legit thing I know because I know people that sell them. <laughs> Credit card skimmers are still being used to this day at places like ATMs and gas stations, but attackers have also figured out how to create a digital skimmer for retail websites. In in fact, this happened to Macy's website a few years ago. The credit card industry does offer some protection in the event your credit card is used fraudulently. So if you are shopping online and you type in your credit card details, hopefully they won't be skimmed, but if they do, be proactive about checking your bank statements. That can often help you. You can also use gift cards to check out instead of your own credit card, which can also be a deterrent. Making sure your devices are updated, passwords are stored safely and not reused, two-factor authentication is set up everywhere it is available and your data is backed up are all solid but crucial steps to give you better peace of mind during the holiday shopping season. I really hope that this video tipped you off to some of the scams that you might see while shopping during the holidays. If it did, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'm Shannon Morse and I will see you soon. Bye y'all.